All right, so this is going to be travel vlog as well as halfway through our first full day of Carpina. So I'm going to let Caleb go first. Caleb, what is your opinion of the travel here to Carpina, Brazil? To Carpina, okay. So the air travel was terrible. I hated it. It was too long. Well, our flight from Atlanta to San, San Paulo, Sao mm -hmm. Paulo was very, very long and it was cramped. And it's, it was awful. Didn't sleep. Um, last night, about around going to bed, I personally hadn't slept for about 28 hours. So that's carrying over into today. So very tired today, but the travel here wasn't bad. Um, driving is totally different over here. I, I'll let you talk about that later, but that's also very stressful to be part of. Yeah, so I hadn't been on a plane in memory. Um, so the first flight we did was just an Indy to Atlanta. A domestic flight and that one wasn't bad it was it was pretty quick it was only an hour yeah of flight oh, so nice. it was it was kind of interesting to do that and then the flight from atlanta to Apollo was pretty brutal it was overnight it was nine hours we tried to sleep and it felt like the entire plane couldn't sleep yeah. so just binged movies trying trying to find anything to live for and then we got there waited around um got escorted through the airport um and that was crazy. The layout of the Sao Paulo airport wasn't wasn't like the American airports, like the Indy and Atlanta airport we'd been in. It was kind of more squiggly, I want to say, in yeah, terms of how there, it was designed. So there wasn't like an open sitting area at all. It was just kind of a... It was almost like you feel like between your destination and a parking garage, you know? It was just kind of like... Well, very, and it felt like going, the whole thing was like going through a mall. Yeah. Yeah. And there was like giant... Whatever. So we got through the Sao Paulo and then flew to Recife. Flight to Recife. I finally slept. So I, I didn't, I was going on 24 hours straight of being awake and finally got some sleep in the Recife airport, uh, air ride. Uh, we got here, uh, drove out to Carpina, which is where we're at now. And then got here and I took a nap. Yeah. He, <laughs> okay. So now we're on to when we got here, <clears throat> we arrived and kind of met a few of the, the people, which we are doing with, well, I met, he's, he's had contact with a lot of these people, but it was my first time meeting a lot of these people but we got contacted with them and you know we got settled in here and we both took showers you know 28 hours you know or what what was it 21 hours total travel time so the total air time was 12 hours but with layovers well it was 13 hours because the three hour flight to receive you one hour flight nine so 13 hours in the air but we were awake because yeah. we, we woke up with, early with layovers it was probably around uh, 18 20 hours of total travel it was brutal and so we both took showers did that there's weird bathroom stuff here would not recommend. different it's different no, it's, it's not weird it's it, different oh okay it's politically, different politically correct it, it's no weird. it's just different it's different it's a different situation than we're used to in the states and we noticed that first thing when we flew into sao paulo i had been awake for over 20 hours and i go to the restroom and there's in Sao Paulo, it was interesting going from the U.S. where it goes English and then little little letters Spanish. It was um, big letters were Portuguese and the little letters were English. So yeah. trying to read that. And uh, basically, I, so far in all of Brazil, you don't flush your TP, yeah. which has been is what our, our trip leader says, a culture shock. Culture shock. So <laughs> it's hard breaking old habits, but you have either a trash can that you throw it into. It's like, it's like those disposable needle cans at the doctor's office. You kind of, it's not open anyways, throw it in there or you have, you can go up. You have, you have a bidet gun. Yeah. And then one of the other culture shocks is the, uh, there's no hot water for the shower. It's an electric, uh, the shower head is electric and that's what heats the water. So that's been interesting to go, go through. But, um, the hotel we're staying at is very nice and it's been very accommodating to us. Very, um, very nice. So far. I don't really have anything else to add about traveling here. Just, I think the culture shock for me was the the driving part. I think that was, I mean, you, you know, over in Asia and, you know, some parts of Europe and the Middle East is like this, but I mm -hmm. never thought it was going to be. The the smaller cars. Smaller cars. And, and it's just, you no don't hit me and I won't hit you kind of yeah. mentality. And I think it, I think a big thing about it is because it's in kilometers, the speed limits, Yeah. everyone's driving slower. So you don't have people just cruising around at 45, 50 miles an hour, which is a much higher speed than people are going here. So when someone turns out in front of you here, you have time to just brake, stop, wait. 
when a dog yeah. walks out in the road, just break, stop, wait. And it's all, as in the U.S., you just keep going because you, your inertia doesn't let you stop that quickly. Yeah. So basically, if you want a rundown of it, watch um, Gabriel Iglesias is going to India or whatever. That is yeah. like a total... I mean, the first, when we were driving on the highway, there was a cow standing in the middle of the road. I mean, that was probably like the big eye-opener because we hadn't seen really a city yet, but there was just this cow standing in the middle yeah. of the road. I was like, oh, okay, that's 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 oh. what we're doing here. But traveling, I think, overall went a lot smoother than it could have gone. But Well, I mean, we could have had delays. Yeah. Well, I mean, most of our planes yeah, were early. That's what I mean. So in terms of like, the travel, it really couldn't have gone better. It's just yeah. a lot of flying, and it's just it's, the way it's, it is. It's tiring. It's tiring. I mean, it really is. But um, so it's our half halfway through the first day, and you you start kind of going off of today and maybe a little bit of last night. Yeah. So last night was the leadership conference. Uh, Hubert Nolan spoke and did an excellent job. Telly translated excellent job as well. Telly Morais, uh, just really excellent job by both of them. Uh, really impactful. Hubert was able to deliver really well, and the. Uh, the people around us were just great. And it was so great. Uh, I've seen so many of these pastors before at other World Renewal events. And so it was just great seeing these the, all these pastors here in their element where they're more comfortable. And it was it was great to interact yeah. with them, them all. And then today, we spent a lot of games. We went and helped with English camp. We're not great teachers ourselves. And I don't have we're, the greatest patience with children. We're not great teachers when it comes to uh, speaking and giving direction in a foreign language. That I would, I would say that's a better kind yeah. of representation of we're we're good teachers, but it's just a it's a whole different world when you can't communicate yeah very effectively. Yeah. But we helped out with that. We taught um, games with Cole and mm. it was oh, Leo. Yeah, yeah, Leo. Thank you. So we taught kindergarten, maybe first and second grade, kind of those two classes, and after that we. We went and played some basketball with probably some of the, the best basketball players I've, especially for their age. I mean, they were great. I can't, I can't even, I can't even fathom how good they were. Like, that's the kind of stuff you get when we, you're we like, beat them in this in the first game. They're they, second graders. Addison. They're not second graders. They're high schoolers. No, they weren't. Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Yes, they were. Yes. Yes. We played a bunch of high schoolers and. They, they ran an excellent pace in space. And so they would come up and they'd, I would go for a rebound. They'd just come up and get it in front of me. I didn't know how to box out. The, they were so quick, I didn't know how to box them out at first. And so the first game, they just paced and spaced and torched us with threes. Second game, they were a little more tired. So it was, uh, camp, it was counselors versus children. Um, so the counselors were able to win because we were all taller. So at That's one point, me and Caleb were just throwing the ball off the backboard, passing it to each other, trying to make it in. He's speaking for himself. I, I wasn't. But, <laughs> but, you know, old man game one in the end with the just stand under the basket, let your friend shoot a three, you'll rebound and put it in. So we won. I, I nailed a couple. <laughs> Mr. Lost I, game I can't put it up with the baskets like right there. <laughs> Lost game one, he, won game two. He had that action going where he'd miss and he'd just catch it under the basket and just keep trying. There was one time he went for like five times. I was just counting. I was. Oh, good, good, thanks. Really appreciate it. It was embarrassing. You should have been very embarrassed. <laughs> they were all embarrassed for you. It's well, okay. I eventually made it. I know. I, I was throwing air ball threes, so it, it doesn't really matter. But two two old men trying to play basketball. Yeah. It's not good. I'm not old. You are, though. Well, tonight you pull, we're going... you pull your hamstring bending down, Addison. Wow. <laughs> As editor, I might take that up. Oh, yeah. You suck. <laughs> so tonight is... Simple. We got a we got a counselor basketball game. It's gonna be all the teachers who helped with English camp going at it in basketball, and then we have another leadership conference with uh, Hubert Nolan. It's gonna be great. I have all the faith in that. And then we'll see what tomorrow holds. I'll try to do at least one of these daily. Um, we're also trying to record different bits and pieces. So trying to keep the cameras rolling. We'll see what happens. And thank you for watching this bit of A to Y.